Today in this video I will explain how to check injectivity of a function. So for checking injectivity of a function f from a to b we assume two arbitrary elements x1 and x2 from domain such that fx1 is equal to fx2 and as a result simplifying this equation if we have the only one condition and that is x1 is equal to x2 only x1 and x2 then f is an injective function otherwise it is not an injective function. For example, if f is a function from n to n and f is defined as 3x plus 4 fx is defined as 3x plus 4 then in order to check the injectivity of this function we take x1 and x2 two arbitrary elements from domain n such that fx1 is equal to fx2 so it implies that 3x1 plus 4 is equal to 3x2 plus 4 so 4 is cancelled by 4 ultimately we have 3x1 is equal to 3x2 and now dividing both sides by 3 we get x1 is equal to x2 only so taking fx1 is equal to fx2 we get only one condition that is x1 is equal to x2 so we may say that f is an injective function Now, we are going to discuss how to check subjectivity of a function. So, let f is a function from a to b. Here, b is the codomain of f. Now in order to check the subjectivity of the function we find the range of the function f and if range of f is equal to codomain of f 
f must be a surjective function and if range of f is not equal to codomain of f f must not be a subjective function let us take an example let f is a function from r to r and f is equal to x square plus 1 so x square is equal to fx minus 1 minus 1 or x is equal to plus minus under root fx minus 1 so clearly x is defined for all x belongs to R if and only if fx minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 because negative number under this under root under the root any negative number gives an imaginary number which is not a real number and our domain is real number so ultimately we come to the conclusion that f x minus 1 may not be negative so x is defined for all those values of f x for which f x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 or f x is greater than or equal to 1 and range is the possible values of f x for which x is defined we already know that so range of f is equal to interval 1 comma infinity which is quite different from codomain because codomain is a real number the set of real number r but codomain of f is equal to r so it implies that range of f is not equal to codomain of f hence f is not an onto function or subjective function so in this way we may say that f is not a, is not a subjective function so this is the way to check the subjectivity of a function.